Hi, this is Matt, and I'm doing a quick fix with Plastaid uh, on a motorcycle front fender to show people how the product is, is brilliant with automotive plastics. Now, in these sorts of cases, you know, something like this might be thrown in the bin because it's got pieces missing and stuff. With this product, we're actually going to uh, make this reusable, and obviously, after some paint, no one's ever going to know that the damage was done. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the basics, and obviously in later videos, we'll show you some of the more advanced techniques. We're going to put some tape on the outside of this to hold the edges all flat and smooth, so that we can fill in from the reverse. So as you can see, we've got some pretty serious holes here that are going to need filling, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that the, the quick and easy way. Make sure you take some care when you're putting the tape on to get the edges to line up properly. Okay, so now I've uh, taped up the repair, making sure that I've aligned all, all the plastics so none of it's overlapping or any edges are sticking out. And uh, when you lay the, the tape on, do it gradually and carefully like you're applying a decal or something similar. Just take your time with it, make sure it's all lined up. If you have to, do a second layer of tape just to make sure that everything's held in place. You can see that we've lined up the plastic on, on the inside and on the outside so that this is all fitting together really well. And uh, we've created a little bit of a furrow in the crack so the plastic has got somewhere to run into to help join the two pieces together. And obviously where we've got our two big holes, the tape over the outside will allow the plastic to sit in that hole while it's curing. Okay, so the next stage is to mix our plastic powder to our liquid very simple to do, no exact measuring needed, equal quantities pretty much, so put in as much powder as you think you'll need and obviously at this stage if you're going to colour your Plastade this is the point where you put your acrylic paint in and here's the liquid so I'm just going to open this up and like I say pour enough in so you've saturated the powder and make sure you've got something to stir it with, everything you need comes in the packet, here's the the lolly that comes with the six ounce pack. Once it's all mixed together, um, because we're going to be casting in these holes, um, obviously we're going to wait for some of this to, to cure to help repair some of the other cracks. But what we're going to do is literally give that a good stir and put a tiny bit more liquid in and give it a good stir and then we're literally just going to pour it straight into where we've taped over our holes on the on the on the on the vendor. We got a plastic liquid format. Um, literally just mixed it together now I'm going to just tip some into that hole and move it around until you fill up the area like such and do the same with the other one literally just putting it in here letting it rest on the crack and then dragging it along and letting its natural stringiness let it stick drag it out let it stick drag it out and then you can literally just pat it down over the crack so you get a nice neat long line. See, we're 10 minutes in. And as you can see, our plastic there, it's become malleable like clay. So I can just grab that, stretch it out, make it to the shape I need, and then stick it on top of our fairing panel. Let's literally pop that in there and work it into that gap. There we go. So that's our repair done. All we have to do now is wait for it to dry and everything will be good. Just go around and clean the edges up a little bit if you want. And uh, once it's set, we can pull the tape off. Okay, so the plastic is set, as you can see. So what we're gonna do now is pull the tape off and uh, just pull it away from the surface. Just go slowly and gently, do not rush. So as you can see, there's our repairs. We'll get some spiro in here and clean it up, but as you can see, and so is that one too. So all back together and, it's, and it flexes and it moves and see that on camera? Look at that. Here you can see, there's the repairs done, holes filled. And you can see, if I can get the line right around here, you can see the 
that has filled the hole. And the same again here. And look at that. See that? And flexing and and whatnot and but it's it's staying together so durable flexible and brilliant so i hope you enjoyed our quick fix with plastade on motorcycle fairings uh any questions uh or comments leave them in the box